Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, I'm Michelle. Previously, I have shared my bad practices and my broken cello. So what I will talk about today, let's stay tuned. This was a performance of the second year. At that day, Raphael came to join me and asked me if I could teach him how to play the cello. He said that he was deeply attracted by my performance. I was shocked when I heard his request. But after a while, I realized that this was an excellent way to get closer to others and I could make more people like the cello. At the same time, I was very grateful for his trust in me, so I readily agreed. So my teaching journey began and now I'm on the way to the class. I made a study plan for him. Every weekend, we meet in the band practice room to teach him how to play the cello. In fact, playing the cello is a technical activity that requires full of theory and practice. I am not a professional teacher, so I don't know if I can be a good teacher. Fortunately, Raphael has a specific piano foundation, so it helps him a lot to learn the cello. I also gradually know how to teach him play the cello. After a period of practice, he was able to know how to play the cello. So I began to adapt my course content to his situation. From my perspective, I have made new friends with Raphael by teaching the cello. Gradually, we had a common topic about life and music. Meanwhile, it gave me a great sense of pride to teach him and makes him feel the charm of the cello. Finally, I over to this class and come back home. For me, teaching Raphael is an amazing experience. And because of this experience, we have become excellent friends. And we can talk about the music. We learn from each other and grow together. Okay, that's all. This is my today's vlog. The story about teaching Raphael to learn how to play the cello. So if you love my vlog, please 一键三连。